Hey, 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 Lee Brothers with the Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your <laughs> Tuesday, April 7th to the 8th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it does with you today. If you're interested in a more personal reading, the information is in the description box below comment as well let me know how this video resonates with you i'd love to hear from you guys i love interacting with you okay i'm gonna get four cards here and then get a message from spirit channeled for you before we begin Libra. what's going on with libras from april 7th to the 8th oh the fool it's the fool what else is going on for Libras from April 7? You see the orbs behind me? And it's dark out. So it's not the light. Six of Pentacles. Ooh, Page of Pentacles. Well, that wanted to come out. One more card, please. And the Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. There you are, Libra. Let me get a message from Spirit, see what they have to say today. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> Again, appreciate. Um, I think you're the fourth sign, no, fifth sign I'm doing and every message from Spirit has been about appreciating something um, from each sign. <clears throat> And they're saying it has to do with the energies that are happening now. Um, it's it's taking us into a different vibration. So through appreciation, it's raising our vibration in a different way. If that makes sense. Okay, so the first thing I heard was appreciate the stars above. So I'm feeling they want you to go and appreciate nature. What's out in nature? The little things, I mean, the freaking grass on the ground, Libra, right? Use your time and energy right now, Libra, to nurture yourself. And they're saying part of this nurturing is going out. And you, okay, they're saying you are the planet of beauty, right? The planet of Venus. Venus loves to be appreciated, but Venus also appreciates beauty, okay? You can see it in an instant, right? You appreciate the beautiful things around you, and you can see the beauty within anything, right? So find that beauty in the most inornate things around you, the, the most find beauty in something you wouldn't normally find beauty in. Look for that. Search for that search from a different perspective because that's what everybody's doing right now okay and this is why spirit wants everybody to appreciate um it's interesting how the different signs have to appreciate and what they need to appreciate i find that interesting with you it's it's nature but it's because of this new perspective that we're gaining through this quarantine that's we're going to see this world differently because it is going to be different. It will not be the same from what I've heard from spirit. So things will never be the same again. And because of that, um, this appreciation will be able to lift you up and in turn lift up your mood, okay? And shine your light that much brighter, okay? All right, so what's going on, Libra? I love that you're on the bottom of the deck. This tells me you're looking for expansion. You're looking for growth, right? You're seeking it, which is great because the everything the Empress touches, Taurus and Libra, turns to gold, okay? Okay, we've got your one of your cards here, Libra, with the Six of Pentacles over the Fool. For some of you, you've taken, you took a leap, leap of faith a while back. You're not sure it was the right decision. 
you're thinking about the imbalance in, I do feel this is a relationship. It could be a job, but I'm feeling more relationship. The imbalance in the relationship, the uh, there's not an even reciprocity going on here. But let's clarify, shall we? You may be receiving a message or maybe sending a message to somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. If you are the sender of the message, this person is going to be very defensive with the Nine of Wands across from you. And vice versa, if you're the one on the receiving end of this message. If you are, this message could be from anybody, but I do feel whoever it is from, you didn't necessarily end this relationship on a good note. And I don't feel you've talked to this person in a while. But you will receive a message or send one. Okay. The King of Pentacles is clarifying the Fool card. Yet yeah, you're wondering if you made the right choice, right? Is this something that you want to continue building off of this taking a leap of faith here? The King of Pentacles is concerned with the tangible, is concerned with building of wealth, but it does appreciate the building, the process of building, right? And build slowly. But whatever the king builds, the king builds with a legacy in mind. So the king just does not build a business, right? Even though it may take them a while, they do not just build a business to last for five, ten years. Oh, no. No. Earth energy, okay? Taurus specifically, this is Taurus energy. Earth energy builds for a legacy, for a lasting legacy, okay? And I feel that this is one of the things that you're trying to do. You're trying to gain ground and have some stability behind you. And this is what you thought about when you took this leap of faith. But now, clarify the Six of Pentacles. Why is this here? Why is this here for Libra? Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Why is this here for Libra? Clarify the Six of Pentacles here. Why is this here for Libra? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Why is this here for Libra? The Six of Cups, okay. Whoever you're dealing with, this is a past life soulmate, okay? This is a very sweet love. This is appreciative love. This is a very innocent love. If you see the children on here, right? The little boy giving the girl flowers, right? But he's not only giving her the flowers, he's appreciating the flowers, right? So the the there's like this appreciation bubble that's surrounding them, which expands the love that they're offering to one another. So I do feel whatever leap of faith that you took with somebody, that you do sincerely love them, but you're not sure... I'm not sure about it. Tell me about this message. Who is sending or receiving this message? What's going on here, Libra? What's going on here with this message? Ooh. Five of Cups. Ooh, there's the Empress. The Empress. The Page of Swords. Okay, Libra. This could be a Taurus or a Libra that's either sending or you're sending them a message. This is a relationship you had with this person. This person you probably were spying on or they were spying on you via the internet, checking out your social media. And with the Five of Cups here, it's a relationship that there was, there was sadness in this relationship. So one, both are feeling sad focusing on the three of cups that have spilled instead of what's in the background which is two of cups standing right what are they calling for what are they messaging for or what are you messaging for what is your intention or their intention whoever sends this message what is the intention let's see what the intention is here what is the intention? What's the intention? What's the intention here for Libra with this message? What is going on? Love. Yep. 
King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. This is having an open heart. This is tapping into your intuitive powers there, listening to your intuition, trusting yourself, right? An expansion of love, an offer of love, and a, a, an incredible ability to love, right? An offer emotional stability, right? Emotional comfort, I'm feeling. Okay, so why is this Nine of Wands here? Why is this Nine of Wands here? I'm going to check and see why this defensiveness is here. Ooh, we get a lot. Okay. Wow. We've got the Strength card. We've got the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Wow. And the Lovers. Yeah, this relationship did not end well. There was betrayal. There was lies. There was anxiety. There was fear. I'm not even sure which side this is coming from. Is it, it, they're saying it's coming from both sides. So I feel you both experience this, okay? This person is going to need strength to, if you're sending the message, to even look at the message. That's what I'm feeling. With the lover's card here, again, um, with this third energy, there could have been a third energy that came in between the both of you, okay? Oh, this could be them. Okay, this could be in relation to them. Thinking about this relationship and the non, the, the imbalance that was going on. This could be epiphanies that you're coming to, they're coming to, you're both coming to. Okay, so what is your advice when dealing with this individual? I'm not sure what, it, it's going to be different for all of you, which end you're on. Or may not even resonate with you, and that's okay. This is general. So whatever, whatever energy I pick up on. Okay, they're wanting you to focus on work now, something that you're passionate in, okay? To take your um, energy away from this, okay? Because this is not fun energy. This is not good energy. This is not appreciative energy. And they're really wanting you to get in that zone. Okay. What other advice do you have? What other advice do you have for Libra? The Emperor. Go for what you want. Okay. This is the card of Aries. You could have this in your chart. Or this other person could be an Aries or a Taurus. Again, we have um, Taurus here again. But this is somebody who goes for what they want, sort of has blinders on, sees their goal and just goes for it, is not a follower at all, is a leader, okay? And usually gets what they set out to do, set out to get, okay? Very in tune with who they are, very wise as well because they've gone through a lot of shit to become the emperor, right? So they're asking you to work on whatever it is that you're passionate about and then go towards what it is that you want. Where is your passion taking you? Go confidently in that direction. Okay, Libra, I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Comment if this resonates with you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.